Uh, next, we're going to be doing a rapid fire Q and A okay. called "If You Only Knew." Okay. Ready? I think so. Okay. Biggest risk you ever took? Oh gosh, probably uh, when I was playing and learning how to fight with machetes. Person you'd most like to meet, dead or alive? Oh, I guess probably my great grandfather. What keeps you up at night? I think just regular stress about life and wondering what's going to happen tomorrow or sleeping through a call time. That's my biggest fear and it drives me crazy. So if I know I have to get up early, I can't go to sleep because I'm afraid I'm going to sleep in. I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guilty pleasure. Oh, God, I have a lot of them. I love donuts. I love candy and um, I love Doritos. Those are probably my three things that I really, really love. Best advice you've ever received? Oh, gosh. Um, don't get too caught up in what's happening next because you don't want to miss out on everything that's happening right now. Mm. Biggest regret? Thankfully, I don't have one, so... I, yeah. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> I hope to keep it that way. Yeah, good, good, good. All right, uh, country you've never been to but would love to visit? Ooh, um, I really want to go to Iceland. Childhood celebrity crush? Uh, you know, it was actually probably Bruce Campbell. All right. I was a huge fan of Army of Darkness, and that was my, like, and the Evil Dead films. That was sort of my go-to, and he was, like, the man, as far as I was concerned. Not surprising <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Strangest job you've ever had? Oh, gosh, when I was in high school, my very first job was doing um, inventory in a sporting goods store. Okay. Uh, favorite video game? Oh, that is a really tough one. Right now, it probably has to be the um, Super Mario Deluxe um, universe that's out right now. It's a pretty good one. Something we should all be paying more attention to. Nature, the world. I think people need to put their phones down and actually just focus on real human connections, not just connections through a mobile device. Mm. Person from history you'd like to take to lunch? Oh, um, maybe Mother Teresa? Uh, we're learning so much about you. <laughs> <laughs> Secret talent. Oh, gosh. Um, I've been playing the flute since I was six. All right. Funniest fan <laughs> encounter. Oh, I don't know. I feel like all my encounters are either just awkward or not very interesting. I'm, I don't know. Very funny. That's, that's Chris's department. I am not funny. Okay. Uh, something you long believed to be true that isn't. I want to still believe in the afterlife and ghosts. I'm now not entirely convinced that there is such a thing, but I don't know. I'm still holding out hope. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Last thing. Tell me something people don't know about you. Oh, um, I don't know. My life, I'm pretty much an open book. I don't really have any secrets. I mean, most people don't realize that I'm a natural blonde. Um, <laughs> Wow. But that's not an interesting secret or anything. It's interesting it's to me. to find out, but yeah. <laughs> well, brunette serves you well, too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. pops those blue eyes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> How would you describe uh, Lydia Hurst in three words? Eclectic, weird, and happy. Those are great. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.